the 2020 version of Monolix Suite has been released. In this video, I will show you what's new in the Monolix application. The first improvement concerns the dataset. It's now possible to create on the fly new columns, such as the dosing design, for instance, which indicates for each individual, is it a single dose or did it receive multiple doses? These additional columns are internal to Monolix. The original dataset remains unchanged. The columns are of type stratification, categorical or continuous covariates, which is a new column type we have added in this release and that can also be used for other columns. Columns tagged as such appear in the plot stratify panel, but not in the model section. Back to the dataset. One big new feature we have added is the possibility to filter the dataset to work on only a subset of it. In the filter tab, one can create child datasets and filter by either selecting IDs, selecting lines, removing IDs or removing lines corresponding to a condition. Furthermore, it's possible to combine several filters using intersections or unions. To have a look at the data, I can now go directly to the plots instead of opening the data viewer in a separate window. Here I can find the covariate viewer as well as the observed data. In the observed data, I now have the possibility to display the mean and standard deviation calculated over bins and I can also hide the lines or the dots. The next novelty is in the model library where we have added a new library for tumor growth and tumor growth inhibition. At the top, I have shortcuts to common models, and below, we have many different combinations covering all main options for the growth terms, for the killing terms, as well as resistance and delays. We also have several ways to encode the treatment, either as only on or off, or via an exposure matrix, or directly as a PK model. In the estimation task and the algorithms, we have done only few changes. They concern models with inter-occasion variability for which we have improved the stability. After running in the result tab, there is an important change in the test tab. We have updated the correlation test for covariates already included in the model. It now works on the betas and better takes into account covariates with redundant information in the same way as the proposal calculations. This new test is also used in the COSAC covariate search strategy, which improves the backward steps. And finally, in the plots, the VPC is now part of the default list of plots and it is possible to export the simulation used in the VPC. This is available here and exports the files in the charts data folder. To finish, Monolix is interconnected with our new GUE-based Simulix application for simulations and you can directly export your Monolix run to Simulix using the export menu. Don't forget to also check what's new in Simulix and Picanalix. Have a nice week!